we're all aware there's two vaccines coming. Okay, we're going to get one or the other. They're basically the same thing. They work in a very similar fashion, but they're unlike other vaccines that we've ever had before. Okay, they don't work like the flu vaccine. They don't work like the chicken pox and all these kind of things. First of all, it takes two separate shots for it to be effective. Okay, about three to four weeks apart. So be aware you're going to get one shot. You have to wait a period of time. You are not protected during that period of time. You can't let your guard down. So it's just like we are right now until you get the second shot, okay? Then your protection goes up to about 95%. So you're still not 100% protected until everybody around you is protected, okay? So we can't just go immediately and take our masks off after the second shot. The way the vaccines work is there's no part of the virus in the vaccine. You cannot get coronavirus from the vaccine that they're gonna give. It's a new technology that actually is a piece of DNA in a way, I'm not gonna get too complicated, that tells your body to start making the antibodies against the COVID, okay? It's new for a vaccine, it's not new for treatment. It's been around for about a decade for cancer treatment, okay? So when I heard all this stuff, I said, oh my, I don't wanna try something new, that sounds terrible. They're gonna write something in my DNA and I don't wanna be a part of it. Well, that was just my own fears that were based not on reality. So if you read about it, it actually is safe to take this. That's the basis of the vaccine. If you have a specific question and you don't wanna ask me in this format, you know where I am all the time. So if you wanna come find me, I'll be happy to talk to you privately for whatever health concern you have. But let's start with questions and just raise your hand and I'll repeat the question you had and we'll go from there. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah? Can you tell us about the side effects? Okay, the side effects, as far as we know right now, are pretty minimal. And pretty minimal is flu-like symptoms for one or two days. That's your body's immune response getting to work. That means it's doing its thing. So it may make you feel like you have the flu, or may make you feel like you have a cold coming on, but that's a normal part of the response. Your body is ramping up to get ready to make the antibodies that it needs, okay? That's the most common one. Now, uh, the, people have had an anaphylactic reaction. That's a deadly allergic reaction. There were two people that did it. And I personally have a history of anaphylactic reactions all the time, and I carry an EpiPen everywhere I go. So I was particularly concerned about that, and I spoke with my allergist. It's okay to take it. Okay, there's no seafood product in there. There's no egg product in there. Uh, you have to be allergic to a very specific compound, and it's the same stuff that's in Miralax. Very, it's almost impossible to be allergic to that. Okay, if you do, we have resources available. There's EpiPens around. We have, do we have epinephrine here? So I don't want to say that. So if you have an allergic reaction or history of it, you should bring your EpiPen with you just in case. I will when I get it. Okay. Does that answer your question? Okay. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure it out as well. I have to advise everybody here. I have to advise patients. I have to advise family members. Is this the right thing to do? Okay. It'd be foolish of me to sit up here and say, y'all got to get it. I'm not going to get it. See you later. That's ridiculous. Okay. So I wouldn't say this if I wasn't going to stay in line and get it. And I, I told you the truth. I was worried about their allergic reaction. I have good evidence now to get it. So I'm going to get it.